he said? He said you never what? Oh yeah, I never messed with Deepa. And then we always. Uh, no, no, no. That's not true. Oh Ivan convinced me that he was Indonesian <laughs> and he's Chinese. And I knew he was Chinese. And he was like, no, 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 dude, you're wrong. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Four of us were sitting and we actually believed that his name is Chakar at the top. <laughs> It's time for pass down. Taz asked me on the group chat if someone had a camera that they could borrow for like pictures and stuff. So apparently I'm gonna be taking pictures today. Jason, how does it feel to be returning as an RA? Exciting. Who do you think is passing down to you? Like a loaded question. <laughs> sure, how are you supposed yeah, to know? You know? It's not possible for an RA to get the same haul, right? Because then they'd be passing down to themselves, and then it wouldn't be a surprise. So I don't think. I guess it's possible, right? Like, yeah, but I then how... Fernando almost did that last year, right? Bernie passed down to himself. Oh, really? Remember, like, I did not know that. There can only be one. Oh, that's okay. That's fine. You can do it. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Is over. Sorry, oh. I didn't record everything. If I record everything, I'd have to record every no, single kid. person. You and could I have just recorded I could have, your own. No, I honestly couldn't. Do your magic. Take, take the freaking camera. This is the last time you're gonna ever, like, probably one of the last times. Here's a three way right here. That's an interesting word choice, but. There's Kiet. The Viet in the flesh. What's good, you two? We back at it again. Ow. It's your boy. Oh, sorry. It's, all it's good. your boy, it's all Kiet good. and Tage. We out here at Pass Down. We're checking out all the uh, RAs passing down, and one RA actually passed up. They passed up the opportunity they, to become an RA again. They passed up that. So Jenny's RA passed down to her, and then she's passing back up to the RA who passed down to her. Wait, no, no, no. That wasn't her RA. Oh, she the person did, who passed yeah. down. Oh, no, it wasn't her RA, but she was the person who passed down to her. So then that person had a, like a gap here of not being an RA, which is kind of funny. If you're watching this, I don't know if you watch the vlogs or if you ever will, but... I'm super proud of you. Really wish you the best of luck. It makes me happy to see all, see all the future RAs like actually like getting their first glimpse into like what their life is gonna be like as an RA. It's, it's really cool because like I wasn't at Pass Down last year since I was late hire. I could just imagine like f like finding out that you're gonna become an RA and then actually like this is like the first like event I guess they go to um, after getting accepted. So it's just really cool to, to like see all of them and I like I try to like just like put myself in their shoes when I was like in the room with everyone, especially because it was like during our normal RA meeting time. So then it was just like it was just, it was interesting going into the room and instead of just having the RAs for this year, it's like. I see all these different people and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is actually happening. Like they're becoming RAs. I can just like imagine their excitement and it's like really, really cool. It makes it makes me happy. It makes me sad too because I'm leaving, but mostly happy, mostly happy. Once again, if you don't know, Maya was a Sierra programmer. This she still is technically because it's still this year, but she's a Sierra programmer, so she's had experience in Mesa. She's had experience like working with residents, working with an RA, so she's gotten to see that. So that's like already a great start. Plus, I just like know she has the personality to do well. So Wishing you the best of luck, Maya. You're gonna be awesome. By the time you see this, she'll probably be done being an RA by the time she sees this. Even if she like returns, like honestly, I'm so behind that. It, yeah, I hope you had an amazing time as an RA. If you're still an RA as you're watching this, I hope you are having an amazing time. I know you will be very, very proud to be passing down to you. Congratulations. We have a whopping six responses to the new breast superlatives, but at least there was enough for each one that there was like a majority for a person. What? These are your fellow homies. I'd like to thank Kit for that time I tripped down the stairs for bandaging me. Well, that was oh, yeah. Did you help me? What was your What was your award, Ellie? Most likely to trip yeah. my graduation. Most likely to trip my graduation. <laughs> Ivan, most adventurous. I would like to give a shout out to Kit because he's a very caring, um, caring RA. Because like first quarter, I fell off my penny board. Um, that was good. Really, uh, <laughs> 
down like inner ring road and I fell off and I got this huge like wound and then you did. he helped me um disinfect and uh, I did that's me up, yeah. I did. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I miss you. You are very adventurous, I love Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Alright, most likely to become an RA. Dakota Thomas! for being a great inspiration for me and a great role model for my future RNS. Um, it's tentative. It's tentative. I'm not going to be an RN next year because I didn't apply. Uh, but <laughs> sorry. next year's different. Next year is going to happen. Right? Always next year. We'll see. All right, thanks, guys. Most likely to get locked out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Elaine Bui. Story. Yeah. So I, I don't know it. I, do you really not? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I was in the shower and <laughs> Carrie comes in the room without me knowing and she locks the door on me while I'm in the shower and I don't figure out what I'm trying to get back in my room and I'm in my towel so I have to go to like the van and she looks up for help and then I eventually go back into my room but for a good 30 minutes to our own Yeah. Oh my god. Sweetest sweetheart. Wenji! 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 I love you, man! I don't know why people won't for me. Most involved. <laughs> Abigail. <laughs> I have a good you have to give a speech to them, so. <laughs> I don't know which award I won. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got most involved. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know. Well, I guess thanks to you, I'm not as safe for like, doing like a men's press and stuff, so. No, thank, thank, thank you, thank you. You help, you help. You're most involved. Thank you, Abby. We'll get, I'll get you the award when you're back. Best romance. Oh. Abigail and Brianna. Oh. <laughs> come, 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 come. No, 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 no. Okay, I won't record you. I won't record you. Okay, don't record. Okay, okay. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Roommate goals. Christian, Julissa, and Lisa. <laughs> yeah, this is the last. I don't know who did that. I'm so Thanks, Nope, this is another special award that someone created. Most likely to become Chancellor of UCI. <laughs> Wenji! <laughs> Talk about the midterm that you thought you did badly on and what you actually got. Wait, how do you do about that? Dakota was talking about it in the- <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get on it? What'd you get? He got 100%! He got 100%. <laughs> and he thought he did badly. Alright. Congratulations, Wenji. The whole casino thing. It didn't go as planned. So we didn't play Texas Hold'em and stuff or anything else, but it's okay because they really want to do superlatives because I'd be excited for that too, honestly. Hey Ben, show them your, uh, show them your uh, superlative uh, board. Oh, oh, oh! So, oh. so it's in the you camera. See, you see, the thing is that the person that's right there, his name is Dakota, he's from Guam, you see? <laughs> you know what Guam means? It means you live in straw houses. You're wow. Gonna ben, you're gonna offend all two of these viewers that are from Guam. Now you're just being offensive to kid. <laughs> How dare you say that? What? Well, out of all 1.5 million subscribers, I guarantee I'm going <laughs> They're going all Jason now with the one. And by the way, Jason says 1.2 million. It will happen one day. Maybe. Yeah. Probably not. Probably not tomorrow, though. Or the next day. Want to bet on it? Cut us from yeah. Guam. Turn from your sins. Are you vlogging this? I am vlogging this. <laughs> Holy, not holy, remember. 
Well, <laughs> well, uh, my, back in the day, so Brother funny. Mikhail was a player. <laughs> <laughs> and I even had, I had the sex. I used to get down and dirty with the hoe. Okay. You got no hoe. Yes. <laughs> right now I don't. I, these hoes ain't loyal. It's right here. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for a god Hey, I've actually got good news for you women. My future wife could be here on this campus. Check it. John says sin is a transgression of God's law. See, a lot of these guys, they could be pimping you out here. Oh, can I can trip you for a moment? You can you can How many of you guys are pimping these girls out here? Nobody. How many of you guys have got HIV already? What the fuck? Just raise your hand. I actually used to be so bad, I smoked marijuana after church. I'd go to the dealer, get some marijuanas, and then I took it, and I did the unthinkable. He snorted the marijuana. Oh. <laughs> I did the unthinkable. I would puff, puff, pass. Yeah, Next thing you know, I was hitting the bong like Cheech and Chong. <laughs> Not what I expected to run into on the way back from class, but kind of entertaining. <laughs> Duty team on the way. <laughs> it is not worth it, man. Going all the way over here to celebrate the retiring of Lisa Cornish. I've only seen her like twice in my entire life. Yeah. Maybe once. And I've worked in housing for like almost three years. Kareem is emceeing for the banquet. How do you feel about the year almost being over, Jordan? I'm so excited. I'm so ready. I. Jesus. Just. Woo! Woo! Appreciating the banquet, you know. <laughs> What's up, Danny? Yeah. Yeah, I stop. Oh no, I'm just, I haven't done it as often. But there's yeah, a special just, day. There's a special day. I gotta. You know, every time someone asks me, "Are you excited to graduate?" I'm like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> no, I don't want to leave just yet. Transitioning into UCI was very difficult for me, to be honest. It was my first time staying in the U.S. I had no friends or really any family with me. It felt as if I didn't belong. And uh, it felt like I was in a dark hole and there was no way out for me. However, I quickly came to find out that I was not alone. My RA threw me a lifeline. They tried to make me feel at home. They were there for me when I needed someone and they helped me get the help that I needed. It was at the end of my first year that I came to the realization that I wanted to give other students what my RA had given me. Support, love, hope, and an avenue of growth. I got involved in housing my second year as a community programmer and continued on to become a CR programmer and now an RA. I've got to see firsthand how all of our different roles in housing come together to leave a positive and profound impact on all of our residents and that our smallest intentional actions leave powerful ripples throughout our communities. And trust me, I know that sometimes it is hard to see our impact, yet I know it is there. Um, it is there in the successes of our residents. It is there in the blossoming of their personalities. It is there in their growth, and it, it is even there in their failures of how to bounce back. For me personally, leaving positive impacts and creating positive change in the lives of others has been a passion of mine, and this passion has given me a purpose. A purpose that, I'm, that I've been pursuing for most of my time here at UCI. And so by graduating, I'm scared that I'm about to lose my purpose. I'm afraid that I might lose my direction, and I'm anxious that I might become lonely again. However, I have come to realize that I will never lose my passion and that regardless of where life takes me, I won't lose the connections that I have created and that wherever I might go, the impacts that others, including you all, have left on me will always be with me and that I'll carry my purpose with me in my heart on whatever path I take. And so as the year comes to a close and for some of us, our time here comes to an end, I propose to you this. If you're able to, then keep doing what you love and keep the fire burning in your hearts. For even though that fire might not light up all the darkness in the world, all the darkness in the world can put up the light of that fire. I love you all. Thank you very much. Give the recognition committee again. That's our supervisor. And Sydney. <laughs> and Kyle. That's our supervisor. Banquet is over. Hi Kyle, how do you feel about... Oh, oh shoot! Shit. He also got these free bags. They're actually pretty nice. Student housing. 